Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 44th episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers titled Lions and Blizzards. We start this episode off at the Angel Grove Oddball Games, which seems to be a weird obstacle course that separate teams compete against one another in. Of course, the five Ranger teens are together on one team while Bulk and Skull are on another team with some randoms. But Turns out, so is Angela. To the shock and surprise of no one, the red team, the one with the Rangers, win, but it's actually a tie between the two teams. Time for a tug of war for the Noble Lion Trophy. Before they do some tug of war, Zack tries to get Angela to come over to the winning side, and she says, dream on. On the moon, Rita says, lion trophy? I'll show them a lion trophy. Girl, sh stop. The tug of war happens for a little bit longer than necessary when the blue team with Bulk, Skull, and Angela all get pulled into mud. Oh, and Mr. Kaplan too. Zack is a gentleman and goes over and he helps Angela stand up. Doesn't matter though because dun dun dun, the trophy is gone. The teens immediately blame Bulk and Skull and it turns out they're right because Bulk and Skull are by a lake with the trophy. In order to stop the rangers from getting the trophy, Goldar sends down putty patrollers and it's a really awesome fight with the team divided. We're treated to another Ron Wasserman tune called Fight, which is awesome, but I think I only like this episode so far because it looks like it's actually autumn in Angel Grove. The putties evaporate and we're back to the lake where Bulk and Skull are washing their faces in the lake. Rita casts a spell and she turns the lion trophy into her monster Gotan. What happened to Fincer doing literally anything? Gotan fires laser things at Bulk and Skull who jump into the lake. At the youth center, Jason and Zack are training, and they're bummed about the trophy being gone when Kim makes the point to say that Angela's there. Zack even tries to act like he's over her, and Angela comes over to add Zack out on a date to the movies. They walk away as Zack smiles brightly. What was the change in heart here? In the command center, Zordon and Alpha discover that Gotan is around, and according to Zordon, this thing can somehow control the weather? I swear, they just toss things at a board and see what sticks. Turns out this is true though, because Billy and Trini come into the youth center in comedic raincoats with umbrellas to show that it's storming outside. They're under a tornado watch, and as soon as the four rangers present hear that, they assume that this is Rita's doing. I mean, could be global warming, but all right. The four of them teleport to the command center. In the command center, Zoran catches the rangers up to speed with the monster and the trophy. Alpha can't get in contact with Zack because Homeboy put his communicator on silent. Even puts his arm around Angela because he says it's cold and she says it's not that cold. This bitch is bipolar. It's morphin' time for the other four. They fight Gotan and immediately get their butts kicked, especially when Gotan pulls out this huge ass bow and arrow of his own. Then he just picks up a damn log and uses it against them, hitting them from the forest to the edge of a beach. Oh, and apparently he has eye lasers, and the goat on his chest traps them into a red tornado. This is just like a bad day for these four. At the movies, Zack and Angela get a bit closer when Zack's communicator finally goes off. He pretends that it's his popcorn alarm, and he goes to the lobby. There, Alpha tells Zack that the rangers are trapped in Rita's evil Shamira monster because no one on this writing staff knew how to pronounce Chimera. Zack morphs. He shows up at the beach with his power axe in tow, firing at Gotan, freeing the other rangers. Then Zack jumps down and straight up slashes the monster down the middle while Zack refers to him as Goton. I mean, that actually makes more sense as like a goat plus lion combination, but my god, why can no one correctly say this name? Whatever, Rita makes Gotan grow for absolutely no reason and it just starts to snow. The rangers claw out their dinosaurs and form the Megazord. There's a brief fight with Gotan who can apparently fire ice breath from his goat mouth. Also, he freezes the Megazord and then takes out a damn hockey stick. It's okay though, the Megazord just straight up spins around in a circle to thaw itself and then punches Gotan in the face. They call out the power sword and then they kill Gotan. RIP thing that no one knew how to fucking pronounce. At the command center, Zordon congratulates the rangers on winning against the monster, but he laments that their trophy was destroyed. The rangers are generic and they say they don't need a trophy to know that they're winners. And then... The best line of dialogue ever occurs. Alpha says, ah, another happy ending. To which Zack says, oh no, speaking of happy endings, I love Angela sitting at the theater and teleports out. Zack comes back into the theater with popcorn and sits, and Angela's pretty clearly pissed. So pissed that she just takes the popcorn and dumps it on his head and walks away. Jesus, girl. At the youth center, Bulk and Skull are brought in by a police officer because they were still muddy and in the lake, I guess. Billy's an asshole and says, unfortunately, officer, we do know them. Damn, Billy, that's cold. Then, Bulk finds a frog in his pants and gets water dumped on him by Ernie, who is watering a plant. 
the end. This episode is, geez, I don't know. I kind of love it because it has so many awesome things going on. I will always be a fan of Zack focus episodes. And I like the fact that Zack even forgot about Angela at the end there. As usual, the Balkan Skull stuff could be cut out entirely and this episode would be way better, but whatever. I'm also still confused as to why no one knew how to say Chimera or even Gotan slash Goton. Will next episode be just as good? Trust me, probably not. But until then, may the power protect you.